it's a, a tragedy to the community. It's a tragedy to the, to the family, and I uh, like to offer my condolences. And I'd also like to thank NCIS, who's worked with us during this entire investigation. Trent Woods Police Department, the Craven County District Attorney's Office, and uh, most importantly, the officers that have been working on, and investigators that have been working on this case nonstop since the 26th. On Tuesday, February the 26th at 2.52 p.m., police officers responded to a report of a child not breathing at the residence of 300 block of Bank Street. Upon arrival, the officers discovered an 11-month-old baby who was unresponsive in the back bedroom. The initial officer found that the baby had a locked airway, removed the object, and began CPR. Uh, Onslow County EMS arrived at the scene, took custody of the child, and transported him to the Onslow Memorial Hospital, where the child was pronounced dead on arrival. Initially, the investigation was treated as a suspicious death, which changed into a homicide investigation after a number of interviews and the processing of the crime scene. During the investigation, detectives, along with uh, NCIS, conducted a number of interviews. During the course of the investigation, investigators focused on a suspect. And yesterday, the police department, well, the police department received a call from the Trentwood Police Department indicating that the suspect, Rodney Burton, had died from a self-inflicting gunshot wound. Because of the nature of the case, the police department and NCIS will continue the investigation into this case. However, um, it appears that the suspect um, took his own life last or uh, yesterday during during the, this investigation. So I'll be glad to answer any any questions that you have. How old was the suspect? How old was the suspect? Um, hold on, just a minute. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two years old. And was he a Marine at Camp Lejeune? Yes, he was. How old was he? Or not how old, sorry. Um, how do you spell his name? I think it, uh, let me make sure it's right. It's B-U-R-T-O-N. And his first name? Rodney. Was Mr. Burton a resident of uh, 301 Bank Street? And how many adults lived at that residence? Well, that's part of our investigation. We will continue to interview everybody that was at the scene. But uh, no, he did not re reside at that, at that residence. Who was the mother? Uh, we're not releasing the mother's name. What about the baby's name? We're not releasing the baby's name either. <clears throat> How old was the baby? 11 months old. Chief, you said that the, um, the, the airway of the, the child was blocked and the object was removed. To, uh, can you say what that object was? Uh, not at this time, because we sent that lock object to the lab, so uh, so we haven't we don't know exactly what it is until they come back and, and tell us exactly what what that object is. What led the police department to no longer call it a suspicious death and decide to call it a homicide? Well, after we received the preliminary uh, report from the medical examiner. Uh, we focus more as a homicide investigation than a um, than a suspicious death. In in a, in a case of suspicious deaths, we treat it similar to a homicide. But in this particular case, uh, after we got the information back from the ME's office, um, we decided to change that to a homicide investigation. What was the information that made it a homicide investigation? Was it forceful object intrusion of the airway? Or well, it's it's, and we don't have the report yet, so um, so I can't can't give you that information. But as soon as we get the MA's report, then we'll be able to answer that type of question. Is is he the only suspect in this case? He is the only suspect at this time. So who called on who nine one one to start all this off? I I don't know who called nine one one. I mean, it, it originated from the house there. Yes, it did. In your interviews with uh, people who live in the area, did you um, happen to find a motive or anything like that? 
Well, I think it's it's too early for us to determine what the what the motive is based on, based upon our current investigation. So, uh, you know, there's no there's no way of us able to turn that. I mean, we, this has literally happened two days ago. So, and investigators have basically worked nonstop uh, on this particular case. Why Trent Woods? What what's up with Trent Woods? What's the relation? Well, I, I can't, I can't, I can't answer that. I mean, did he live in Trent Woods? Why are they involved at all? That's the question. Well, he 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 went to Trent Woods. That's where the uh, that's where um, he apparently took his his own life. Was he visiting someone? Well, you'd have to ask uh, Trent Woods that. Okay, our investigation had to do with the eleven eleven year old or eleven year old. What is the timeline from? The time of death until you found him. I mean, did he drive from, or does it look like the baby was dead for a while? What what's the timeline there? The timeline from from the time that nine one one was called to the time that the marine was found. I mean, did he drive to Trent Woods or was he in Trent Woods? This was uh, the twenty sixth, which was two days ago, and yesterday was when uh, when Trent Woods discovered discovered uh, Mr. Burke. So the baby was. Found dead two days ago. Two days, two days prior, or a day prior to this, uh, to the incident in Trent Woods. So, had you guys interviewed Mr. Burton before his yes, death? Yes, we have. And what was determined before his death? Before, he, if you interviewed him, did you determine that he was going to be charged with anything? We we have uh, we have not determined criminal charges at that particular time. So, no arrest had been made. At that That's point. correct. Yeah. Was the baby a boy or a girl? It was a boy. Do we know the age of the mother? We're not releasing any of that. Was Mr. Burton a resident of Jacksonville, specifically Bank Street? No, he was not a resident of Bank Street. Was he a Jacksonville resident? Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a Marine, so he was a Jacksonville resident. Chief, can I? Um, I, I know you already answered this. I know. I, I missed a part of it. You said that um, Mr. Burton has been interviewed. Yes, he by, has been. by your department or by NCIS. You know, on on investigations. Or somebody. I mean, he was, he had been interviewed by law enforcement. Right. And that the investigations like this, we, we it's a it's we're pretty seamless. Yes, sir. So um, so we we've, we've been working on this case together since the inception. Would would, would that have been Tuesday or Wednesday? Or can you tell me that? I, I'm pretty sure it was Tuesday. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kenny, can I ask you a question, sir? Sure. Um, you, you've been you've been uh, with NCIS how long? Uh, Twenty-five years. Is this um? Are you seeing more of these types of situations here in the last um, few few years here at Campbell Junior? I mean, what? It, can you kind of give us a big picture of what this what this is? You know, uh, I, w I would just say this. I really don't want to get into that, you know, area. I mean, uh, you know, really this, this this part of the North Carolina is no different than any other or any part of the U United States. Uh, you know, violent crimes is part of our daily lives, unfortunately. Uh, the, one, the one thing that we did, just, just so it's, it's, it's clear, is, uh, you know, we're in a, an assist role to the Jacksonville Police Department here. On this particular case, uh, the incident happened out in their jurisdiction, um, and we have a, a fantastic relationship uh, across the board. And uh, so we were contacted immediately; just uh, went into an assist mode to uh, help them with their investigation. So, were the dead guy and the mom, the baby's mom, married or any relationship? Does that mean they're married? I don't think we. Chief, I'll no, no, they were not. Okay. 